How about how about the day that you uh, went back to work and your your knee was healed? You were digging trenches all day. Yeah, can you I tell us a little about that? Okay. Only been out of surgery thirty days. It's all God, bro. It ain't me. It's all God. The day you went back. He's to- the one that had me up walking two hours after surgery. <laughs> Him and the therapist. Mm. Praise God. They don't, you know, nowadays they don't let you lay in the hospital to heal anymore. They're starting to realize that laying in the hospital is not the way to heal. Jesus. What, do you, what are your thoughts on family? Family is, uh, my thoughts on family are the same as God's, man. Hold your family dear and close, no matter if they're following God or not. You still have to hold them dear and close. Family means everything to me because it never meant anything to my parents that I know of. They never exceeded, they never showed it. What was that? What was that like? Uh, a little bit. So your experience from your your youth of uh, lack of or absence of family, and then coming into the Lord's family, that turning point, that process. What was that like? Well, I was pushing family before I turned my life over to God. Um, when I met Ann and her two kids. You know, they were both teenagers when I took them on. Um, and I did, I was just doing what I thought was right. I didn't realize that the Lord looked at, at, at me as favorable for what I was doing. I didn't know that. It's just something I do. Even when I was in my drug world, I tried to be the best person I could be. But it did look out for me all the time. <clears throat> you mentioned before earlier about about the change of heart. You, you seem pretty confident in that, that the Lord gave you His heart, the yep. Father's heart. Yep. So could you explain that, what that, that means, the process of that, so it's physically, spiritually? Uh, well, the process of that was... Uh, the Lord may have been in my heart before that, but when he healed my heart, I realized how much he was really there. Because he didn't have to heal my heart. I didn't ask him to heal my heart. He just did it. I didn't ask for any healing because I, I was doing fine. I was, you know, I could work out. It never interfered with my bodybuilding. Never interfered with me in PE in school. So, it's... I think when I recognized that God was in my heart that much was when I was getting ready for Africa. And I asked God, why me, Lord? I can't quote anything out of the Bible. I can't even remember half of what I read. And he said, I've got tons of children that can quote the Bible, but they don't have your heart. I want your heart. He said, that's why I do what I do for you is because of your heart. Same with Anne. When she massages people, that's not her massaging them, that's the Lord. She silently prays on every one of her clients. And now she has clients that won't leave till she prays out loud for them. And they, 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 they return the favor, they pray for her too. Just reach out to people, man. You, you notice I call everybody brother? I don't care what your name is. You're my brother in Christ. That's the Father's. That's the and, Father's. And see, I, I don't need to go out and advertise it. I don't, I don't need to do that. I go where the Lord tells me to. I don't go prey on people on my own. If the Lord tells me to go, I go. If He don't tell me, I don't go. Because it's not going to do any good. So if you're out there reaching out to people through your own through your own spirit, mm-hmm. then um, you're not going to accomplish anything. Amen. I got to take this.